Are you an anxious attachment style, dating an avoidant attachment style? Well, if you are, listen up to this because this was a relationship I was in and it can work if you're both aware of the style of attachments you have. But if you are not aware of the anxious avoidant attachment style, then you could just be constantly triggering each other like we did. So back then I wasn't as self-aware as I am now and I would just show my partner so much love because I was so anxious that I needed to feel loved from him. And if he didn't show me the love in the way that I wanted the love, then I would just think he didn't love me, he doesn't care about me. But what I didn't realise, because he was an avoidant attachment style, every time I showed him lots of love and I would pour my love to him, that would make him more avoidant because that would trigger something inside of him as, whoa, I'm not getting close because if I get close, you're going to hurt me. So that came from him his wounds of his past. Now, when I look at his family, I think, wow, I couldn't understand back then because his family was so loving and beautiful and kind and they were really good people. So I couldn't understand, like it didn't make sense. But then when I realised about the anxious avoidant attachment style and I learnt a little bit more about it, I do remember a time where he was telling me about how his sister was a very uh, unwell child growing up and he felt like the the parents gave his sister all the love and the tension and he felt like he didn't receive that love. Now, we know that's not true as a parent because obviously they had a sick child and they had to focus their attention on that child. But as this boy, we'll call him when he was a boy growing up, his perception was that he wasn't feeling love. So in his world, it was, my parents don't care about me. They don't love me. They just, they care about my sister more. So this made him be very protective of the way he feels.